Here's the new update for June 17th, 2013. Uh, the SP uh, 30 day, one minute chart. Um, best case scenario is that we got one wave one, wave two, wave three, wave four, and a truncated fifth wave. And um, we didn't break 1598 on this on on the downward C or the downward three from um, June 11th to June 13th. Truncated and then rallied. And usually when you get truncation of this size, usually the the reversal is really big. So this could actually be um, the end of the sideways pattern if we take out uh, 1648 today. That'd be one, two, three, four truncation, and then top of the top of the four, or top of the B. And you can take take out 1648 decisively today. The Dow. Um, one, two, three, four, five, and um, truncated fifth wave. This area right here can be a really large four, and then the truncated fifth wave because this kind of threw me off. This pattern right here kind of threw me off because it was a, it's larger than a four. It actually had a size of a two. So what I was worried about was this turned to a downward three. And because we were rallying today and um, close to breaking out again, um, I don't think this is going to turn to a downward three unless there's a double top B. I hate saying that. Double B. How about that? Unless there's a double B at 15,300 in the Dow. Um, that's the worst case scenario is running to a double B and then turns to a downward three. So I'm kind of, I want a full breakout here. NASDAQ. One, two, three, four, truncated fifth wave around. <coughs> I have a cold, sorry. Um, if we can take out uh, at least 34.75 today. Actually, 34, I think we can take out 34.85 and we spike in, into the close. Because usually when you truncate, the reversal is really big. So I think there's a good chance we can actually take out the top of the B. I'm watching SP in particular right now. And uh, 16.48 would be the breakout. That's a wrap.